all for you. It took stones to help me get my place back up and running. Thanks.
Hey, Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out on my ass. He can give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job is all I'm saying. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm going to be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much are we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're going to be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, Alma, just say it. What's going to happen next? You need him? And you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there.
we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. You want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a man, you... Assume at your own whisk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bales, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Did those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. Ah, I highly doubt she forgot. 
Did you do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. Was a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana away. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Cassandra never opened up to me about her own history. As much as I tried to be an ear when she needed to talk, letting go and trusting are very hard to do. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't teaser.
think you're doing? Deserve this shit. <laughs> 